Can he get in my car? Hmm. What? Okay. Alright guys. Welcome to moving life. I do not like to crawl across my car, but here we go. Okay. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Look at that. Look at that. Boom! Take that Pinsky truck. Welcome back to another exciting vlog here on the sunny side of Florida. Caroline's over there yawning in a way. So we've been up getting Duncan because as you guys saw the Penske truck is in the in the driveway. It's the final push. This is the two days to get our house everything cleared out and we have so much stuff. We have already made like 50,000 runs just in Nathan's truck alone to the storage place and Today's the final haul for the big stuff. And honestly, guys, like all the small stuff gone, it still doesn't look like our house has been touched. We've cleared out Michaela's bedroom. We've cleared out Christian's bedroom. It's all on the Penske truck. We got it on there last night, Nathan and I did. But it started pouring down rain. And it was 8 o'clock at night, and they closed at 10. So I was like, I guess we'll wait until morning time. So we just took a break, did some snuggle time, did some editing on some vlogs. So maybe one day you guys are going to see these vlogs. <laughs> in the middle of this and yeah so now it's just kind of waiting for us to finish loading it up and push it out to the um, storage unit put all of our stuff in the storage unit you're gonna kind of hear more vlogs but guys we are so like we have no idea what we're doing right now we really don't for the next four months it's just kind of Nathan's still enlisted like we have not been let go of the military a lot of things have changed now they're saying they might keep him a little bit longer the other day they said Maybe they'll keep him like for longer than we thought. I don't know, but we've sold our house, so we got nowhere to go. So we have to go back to North Carolina as of right now. You so have to. you're choosing to. Well, I mean, like, I mean, I, I am choosing to for the next little bit as the car starts. No, easily could have bought a smaller house here. And we so could that have. was your choice. We could have. And Caroline's a little salty here. I'm not saying, guys, just wait for vlogs to come. I'm not she's, saying that's not what's going to happen. Like, go with me. Well, yeah, I want you to go. You with have me. choice to stay here. And Nathan's still enlisted. So at the end of the day, you still have a choice to get a smaller house to stay here. Yes. So. And that may be what happens, guys. I am telling you, I've been mad. I've been sad. I've been aggravated. We've done some emotions. And honestly, finally, what I'm always telling you guys, I have learned for myself, I am very much content with God leading this part of my journey. Because we are getting so much random information that um, he could still be fit for duty. And there's just so much stuff that is out of our control right now. And it's just not where what we thought. So, I, I mean, honestly, yesterday they told him that he possibly could still be fit for duty and they might keep him. <laughs> so, a man that is truly medically retired, supposedly. So, stuff yeah, so we've moved on. Everyone else's house. I think, regardless, we were selling this house. Um, yeah, we, if y'all stayed here, I could still move like in with y'all. We right. wouldn't have to like well, okay. put a damper on our relationship either. You're ready to be a big girl, I thought. I am. But I'm just saying, like, it would kind of suck if you guys were going to actually end up moving back here. And then I picked up all my stuff. <laughs> Well, I thought you were ready to be on I your am, own. I am, but like, in the circumstances, yes. Okay. I thought my child was ready to I grow am. up and be like a big girl. I am. Okay. So, guys, just wait for vlogs to come. I mean, honestly, we could still be enlisted. We could still be saluting our country. Nathan will not be happy about that because, um... We've kind of, like I told you guys, he wanted to do 20 years, no lie. Um, possibly 25, 30. But politics have taken over the military. That's as much as I'm going to say on that point. And um, we've kind of checked out. We've, we've kind of done our time. And, and after you've served, you've went across to the UK. Nathan's put his body through what he has. And there'll be more stories of that to tell. And if you're another combat controller, you know what these poor boys went through um, during the pipeline. Like, and then, I don't know. And then it's just like at the end, you just get on kind of ready to just check out 
but that might not be our story. Just stay tuned. Ah, stay tuned, guys, for our story and what will take place. All I know is I'm tired of moving my stuff. I am so tired of my stuff being broke. All the stuff that was bought, like 90% of it, was when I was a single mom. And so I work my tail off for everything that I have, and it's all material stuff, guys. It is all material stuff. <laughs> and I'll remind myself of that after we break it off. But, and as we're loading it on the truck, and he's scuffing it up, I'm like, please don't do that. Please don't. So <laughs> moving is a test of like your marriage, man. And I know my neighbors were probably like, what the, are they okay out there? No, we're out here killing each other in the shoe haul, guys. Because I'm like, bro, I know that weighs a thousand pounds, but can you not dent it? And he's like, it's a little heavy and I'm like yeah 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 but don't dent it okay <laughs> so when you look back on it with a fresh pair of eyes you're kind of like sorry babe I mean I can admit that but at the same time I wanted him to hire movers so yeah that's our argument right now in the Penske truck so I'm sure you guys will see more arguments throughout the day <laughs> but no lie guys I am trying to find content I have found content that Wherever our journey goes, I'm letting God lead the way. I have no idea. Maybe we packed all of our stuff up. I'm going on a four-month vacation and going to come back to the same thing. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out together, guys. Hang out with us. Stay around. Be part of the traveling family of five family, guys. If you hadn't noticed in the comment section, we're family. And let's just see where this route takes us. Us moving and stuff. My lovely mother over here has not cooked dinner or breakfast, I mean. So... I had to get something from McDonald's, so I got... I did cut breakfast at McDonald's. I got a side of eggs and a side of bacon, and then I got two hash browns. So, and then my grandmother or somebody sent me $20 for pizza. So we're gonna, I'm gonna order Hungry Howie's because Hungry Howie's is so good. I'm gonna order Hungry Howie's later because my boyfriend's coming over to help me move the rest of my room. Um, and he's bringing over his grandfather's truck so we can have like an open bed for my bed and stuff. So he's coming over later so I thought I'd make a family effort and order us pizza because I have to go to work at 5 so I guess that will just be my lunch because I don't get a break because I'm only working 6 hours. Or what time do you get off? I get off at 11. Okay. So That's a late night baby. Yeah. I released my shift and no one's picked it up because I don't, <laughs> don't like working that. Neither do I! That's why I released it. Like I do not like working But you're off tomorrow. I am off tomorrow, but we are going to still be moving again tomorrow, so that kind of sucks, but I hope, I hope not. I hope tomorrow is a chill day, but hopefully we can get everything done before I go to work today at 5 o'clock. It's currently 10 o'clock and we're just going home, so my boyfriend just got done with his community service that he had to do for his job, so yeah, so I think he's going to come over within the next hour or so and help us move because I have to go back to Walmart because I bought the wrong mattress cover for my bed. So I have to go back to Walmart, grab the right one, and then return the other one. So that's gonna be like a 30 minute process to get charged there and back. What I hear is Caroline's trying to skip out on moving. That's, that's, on oh, packing stuff. No. <laughs> oh, uh, no. I just would rather move it right and then move instead of moving it wrong because me and my boyfriend obviously haven't found like a house yet and we're looking but he wants to graduate first and he graduates in november and then once he graduates um we're gonna start looking so me living over there at his grandparents house is just temporarily but he wanted to keep me here and i want to stay here so his grandparents worked something out and i am super super thankful if it wasn't for them then i would not be staying here they didn't even know where on the table to sit <laughs> See why I don't even want to eat at home right now? He just got pancakes, no sides or nothing, just hotcakes? Yeah, for Christian. I mean, random peanut butter and knives and and there's Bear and there's Dad. Hey, Dad. So this man tells me last night, you better go to bed early because my clock's set for 7 o'clock. Who was up first? Me. Me. Four it don't count if you're not out of the bed. You are not being productive. Neither were you at 4 a.m. <laughs> no, I was sleeping. Exactly. I woke up at 4 a.m. and just tried to lay there. I'll get up like a freaking Ryan Oscar. Ready to go. <laughs> Let's go. Caroline's room. Still a hot mess, but that's her work in progress. Look at my baby's room. It's empty. I stood in here last night. Look at echoes. I stood in here for like five minutes last night. Just... But her room's done. And Christian's room is done. All except like this is stuff I'm packing up, like going with us. 
and little stuff over here. And then his closet's still a hot mess. First house key, let's see. <clears throat> oh, it's cute, I like it. But guess what? This child loses them, so she'll no, be lost it in a week. I didn't. Sissy took it. <laughs> True. And y'all blamed it on me that I lost it. But Sissy took your house key and her house key. True. And then a week later, she's like, oh, I have your house key. But you did pick that dirty clothes up out of that floor <laughs> before somebody comes over. His grandpa will be like, ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Oops. You get to ride in the big truck. Yeah. Woo. Was it fun yesterday driving at home? Yeah. All right, so I gotta follow you in my car, I guess. Kisses for the road. I love y'all. Here we go. You remember the hand trucks, right? Don't say that. Don't. <laughs> Don't. Christian, was that a fun ride? You like sitting up that high? Oh, okay. It looks like a lot of work. here waiting to get out in traffic so Christian and I are leaving the unit we've got all the stuff that we packed last night off so now it's just kind of to the point where we need another unit we're gonna have to have another unit for um, our sofa and stuff this ain't so, Wawa but it's Circle K let's go find some ice teas hopefully okay straight back polar pop Oh, the ice cream thing? That's right, I forget. I always win. I know you do, but you know, it's gonna make you more thirsty. You loved these in the UK, didn't you? Yeah. Need some help? Okay, okay. excuse me. I open I mean, it? Yeah, you open it. There it goes. Wow. Now blending. Here it comes. Oh, that looks yummy. It's gonna take a minute probably before you can get through it. See if it, it's too thick. You can get something? Okay, good. Is it good? Is it like you've always remembered? <laughs> Yay. Classic. Excuse me, how much was it? So dad just called me. I guess he got in with the lady. And the unit, the new one that we need. So our other unit is only like a hundred and something dollars. Because we chose the third floor or whatever. You ride an elevator up. This new unit? because she only has a first floor available of course she only has a first floor um it's four hundred dollars i was like no bro don't get that like i don't know what we're gonna do and he's like no nah, it's just a heads up and he always puts me on speaker <clears throat> that lady probably thought that woman's not so friendly um but no i was like no that's that's too much four hundred dollars a month for you i don't know so anyways we got the unit <laughs> that's michelle's meltdown for the day it's in there for round two. Here we go. Done. Done? We just got started. We're gonna end it. That's right. We've got the U-Haul packed again, and I've got to stop and get bubble wrap. And then there's that, whatever that is. Um, it's 4:30 here. Caroline, thank you. Caroline has got us pizza in the house today, so dinner's taken care of. She's gonna pump up her mattress, and she's got to go to work. That's gonna be her bed tonight. We're gonna say goodbye.